so here um first question is uh, we have to prove by contradiction that log phi to the base two is an irrational number now this is one of the may 2022 question i'm gonna first assume this now this is something by contradiction so we're going to make a contradictory statement for this so since they have said that log phi to the base two is a irrational number i'm going to assume that this is a rational number so any rational number is written in the form of p by q with p and q has having no common factor or you can say this is in simplest form now what we can do is we can do a little bit of modification okay so one of the thing that we can do is either you can straight away uh, remove log from here and you'll get 2 to the power of p by q equals to 5 so you get 2 to the power p equals to 2 to the power uh, phi to the power q so that's your first thing or you could have just done uh, instead of this step you could have just done take uh, q to the other side okay so q log phi to the base 2 equals to p and then you take this back in power so log phi to the base q to the base 2 is p so phi to the base q is going to be 2 to the power p so at the end you get the same result whichever method you want to do that's absolutely okay but now one other thing that um have that will prove that this assumption is wrong is uh if you take if you take any p and q since you know p and q are integer yeah. values any p and q integer values if you take for example if i take p as let's say five or p as three or p as one two anything similarly q, q you, you're going to take any value what you'll notice is that the left hand side is always an even number okay so for example two to the power two i take and right hand side if i take let's say q value as for example three so phi to the power three so this is going to be always odd and this is always going to be even so left hand side is even and right hand side is an odd number so since even and odd numbers cannot be like ever equal hence we made some mistake we made basically a mistake of assuming that this is a rational number and so we are going to assume that now assumption which we are taken is is wrong and it will take this as that okay this is an irrational number all right so here we have got the second question which is basically um prove that a square plus b square is exactly divisible by four um then a and b cannot both be odd numbers so so here what we have to do is we have to prove that a square plus b square is basically divisible by four now if now under what condition is something which is basically we have to prove so on where mm -hmm. a and b both can't be odd now since they're making a statement that uh, a and b both can't be odd we're going to pick this as the key statement and we're going to take write down the exact opposite or contradiction of this so if they're saying a and b are not odd we'll say that okay a and b are odd now since a and b are odd i can take a as 2n plus 1 uh, because it's an odd number uh, b is also i can take 2m plus 1 so n and m are integers that's uh, um, the main thing here now i'm going to write down the corresponding value of a square plus b square expression here so when i do that i'm going to get 2n plus 1 the whole mm -hmm. square plus 2m plus 1 the whole square plus 4 um sorry not plus 4 here so this has to be now divisible by 4 as well. Now, if you open this up, you, you're going to get 4n square plus 2ab, which is 4n plus 1, plus 4m square plus 4m plus 1. Now, you can collect these terms together. So it is going to be 4n square plus m square plus n plus m. That's your one thing and plus 2 outside all right so since you can see okay this number is divisible by four but this is not divisible by four plus two is not divisible by four that clearly means that this is entire this entire expression that you got this number is not divisible by four so this is not divisible now if this is not divisible it means that we made our assumption wrong so it means that what are the statement they have given is that a and b both cannot be odd that's true statement Okay, so for this question, we have to prove that prove by contradiction that 2x cubed plus 6x plus 1 has got no integer roots. So first, we're going to make basically 2x cubed plus 6x plus 1 equals to 0. Let's say I assume that there is there has it has got one integer root. Let's say, for example, x equals to a is an integer root for this. 
Now, if it is an integer root, it definitely uh, should fulfill the equation. So if I take this, it it must give you the answer as zero because if it's root of it, and plus this is a, a is an integer. This is here I'm contradicting. This is an integer basically, I'm assuming that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take here basically um, two a cube plus six a equals to, uh, I can take this whole thing to the left hand side. Okay, let's say negative one equals to one. Now I'm gonna do one thing is take two common. So negative a cube plus neg minus three a, that's gonna be equals to one. So I'm, I kept this thing here and I moved actually this thing to the other side, but I have maintained the minus here. Now, since we know that a is an integer, okay, since we know a is an integer, this entire thing is gonna be an integer. Now, for example, an integer can be five to negative five, whatever it is. Now, two times that integer is always gonna be an even number. So two times that integer is always gonna be even, but one is an odd number here. So this clearly means that whatever assumption you made was absolutely incorrect. And that's why this cannot have an integer root.